Hi guys, my name is Molly, and for those of you who are new here, I do a lot of budget cooking under my bed in my dorm room. And this week what we're going to be doing is Brian Johnson's blueprint program, but on a budget, just to prove that you don't have to be a billionaire to make a significant impact on your health. And I consider myself a pretty healthy eater most of the time. But I am recovering from surgery right now, and this program claims to help you recover faster and your body heal faster. So I thought, you know, it can't hurt. What a better time than now. So some of the free things that I'm going to be doing from the Blueprint program and that anybody could do for free is going to sleep and waking up at the same exact time every single day. Even if maybe I don't get great sleep for a little while, just while I get into the routine of it. And another free thing that I'm going to be doing is eating time. So I do sometimes have a bad habit of like late night snacking on like sugary things and then I can't get to sleep because I'm on a sugar high. So hopefully that sticking from eating from 6 in the morning to 6 p.m. at night will keep me from messing up my sleep schedule like that. And then the last free thing that I'm going to be doing is working out one hour every day of high intensity and strength training, which might be a little challenging because I can't do any impact right now. I just got off crutches, but we are going to figure it out and we're going to make it work. So first challenge is to go to the grocery store and every week I have a grocery budget of $25 because I don't need to spend more than that. So why would I spend more than that? And so we're going to try and see if we can get all the ingredients that we need for at least a modified version of this for under $25. And I'm also going to ride my bike in the snow, which is going to make it more scary and exciting because I don't want to fall over on my knee that I just got surgery on. Yikes. So oh, basically, I always take my bike to the grocery store. Um, and I also really don't want to scrape the ice off my car, but I'm a little nervy because I've only been off crutches for like a week. And so I'm hoping I don't slip and fall because that is on the list of things that I'm not allowed to do is slipping and falling. So wish me luck. Okay, so I just got back from the store and I went a tiny bit over budget, tiny bit. But all things considered, not bad. And I am gonna be using a few things that I already have and some of the stuff I'm not gonna use up all of it, yada yada, you know, the whole spiel. But I think just for any sort of grocery shopping trip, but especially a super duper healthy one, $27, it's not too bad. So I'll show you what I got. Mushrooms for $2.08. Frozen cauliflower, which was a dollar. Frozen broccoli, which was $1.16. We have four sweet potatoes, which came out to a total of $3. Organic olive oil. So usually I don't go for organic things, but generic brands of like oils like this, like olive oil or avocado oil, tend to be like just canola oil with coloring and uh, flavoring. So I figured if I was gonna go a little bit more expensive on one thing it should probably be this so this one was seven dollars so that was a big chunk of my budget right there the berries were 340 two cans of chickpeas came out to one dollar and 64 cents the bag of lentils cost me one dollar and 34 cents four limes which were 25 cents each and that comes out to a dollar two very unripe avocados that will hopefully last all week that came out to One thirty-six. Not least, we have a bag of. Bleh. Last but not least, we have a bag of flaxseed for three dollars and forty-eight cents. So, if you stick around, I'll show you how I turn all these ingredients into kind of my version of the meals that Brian makes. So, we're gonna have very cheap nutty pudding slash a berry smoothie is basically what it's gonna be. Um, we're gonna have the super veggie, which is gonna be pretty much unchanged. Get a stuffed roasted sweet potato, which I'm really excited about because I love sweet potato. So let's get into it. So this is day one of my nutty pudding. I had to go to like a study room to blend it up because one of my roommates still asleep. I didn't want to wake her up. But it has 
berries, almond milk, which I fucking hate almond milk, but the store was like all out of regular milk. So I got berries, almond milk, peanut butter, flaxseed, collagen, and a little bit of cocoa powder. And it's pretty good actually. It's um, got no sugar in it, but it's... Okay, so for my budget super veggie, I'm just gonna go ahead and prep it for the whole week. That way I can just have my lunches in a little container and I don't have to worry about it. And that's one less thing that I have to cook every single day. And it should stay pretty good. So I'm gonna make about a bag and a quarter of lentils. And for lentils, what you wanna do is you just wanna rinse them really well. Cause usually I ignore people when they say they're like rinse something, but if you don't rinse these, they'll get really foamy and they'll bubble up all over the stove. So you wanna rinse them really well and then you're just gonna put them in a pot with how like enough water to cover them it really doesn't even matter that it like the amount you don't have to do exact measurements like you do rice but you want to make sure they have water covering them the whole time and then you're going to simmer for about 30 minutes for this type of lentil so i have a big old pot of a lot of lentils now and you can tell they're done is if you take one in between your fingers and you pinch it then the inside part will squish instead of shooting out and still being hard and the outside part will still be intact. So to my pot of lentils, I'm going to add about half a tablespoon each of garlic powder, ground ginger, and then ground cumin. If you have apple cider vinegar, go ahead and use it, but I already had white vinegar and I didn't really want to buy a whole different type of vinegar. So I'm going to put about three tablespoons of this in there and mix it around. You don't want to go overboard with this. Not going to taste good. Okay. So to save on some dishes, oops. To save on some dishes, I'm going to go ahead and slice my mushrooms into the same pot that I cooked my lentils in and then I'm just going to quickly saute them with a drizzle of olive oil just until they are a little bit cooked through. Okay. Now that our mushrooms are cooked down we're ready to assemble our budget super veggie. So on the side oops, compartment I'm going to put uh, to, in this compartment I'm going to put a couple spoonfuls of mushrooms and half a lime and then on top of my lentils, I'm going to put a handful of cauliflower and a handful of broccoli. Okay, it's time for the taste test. I'm going to drizzle about a tablespoon of olive oil on top. It's pretty good. The flavors go pretty well together, but I'd give it about six and a half out of ten. Okay, I'm halfway through this, and I'm gonna amend my rating to seven and a half. Actually, I'm gonna give it an eight, but you really have to make sure you mix everything together, but when all the flavors come together, it's pretty good. Having my square of dark chocolate for dessert. The power in my building is out and it's like 6 in the morning which is really bad because it's like fucking cold outside first of all and also now I have a fridge of food that I can't open so I gotta figure out some other way to eat. I think I'm gonna be working out inside today. is baked sweet potatoes and I've decided to roast the sweet potatoes and chickpeas together with olive oil and black pepper and chili powder and then I'm gonna make it a sort of bowl one hundred percent the best meal of the day not even close last sweet potato bowl of the challenge don't that look pretty okay let's talk 
Um, I'm at the end of the week, and with the exception of one very tasty plate of ribs and potatoes that I may have eaten, uh, for the last week, I've eaten the exact same thing every single day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that was a berry smoothie for breakfast and super veggie for lunch and sweet potato for dinner. And my thoughts are that I actually really like it. I'm surprised that I wasn't hungry. A lot of the time I really couldn't even finish the meals, which was surprising because like no snacks, you know. Um, and the food was very filling. And the only like thing that I had was like, it was kind of missing some dairy for me because like I really need dairy. And then it was also missing some fermented food and maybe some like actual like grains because there's not really any grain in there at all. So that was kind of one of my only complaints about it. I do feel really great. And like the day after that I had that one plate of rib and potatoes, my knee swelled up and I could, didn't get any good sleep. So I think it's definitely helping me and the sleep helped me too. So will I continue this? I don't know like I like the way it makes me feel so maybe yes maybe no but let me know if you guys want me to try like vegan or vegetarian next on a budget or whatever anything fun that you guys want me to try but I hope you guys will try this and share with me all your takes on it and how you guys uh kind of judged it up to your own liking because I ended up putting soy sauce and sauerkraut on my super veggie just to make it edible but it was really good after I did that so I'd love to see how you guys do this and you can tag me on Instagram I'll link that down below but yeah this has been a fun week and I hope what you take away from this video is that you can really make a positive change in your lifestyle even if you're on a budget